A Japanese machine maker has finally achieved a long-held goal. Kikuchi got its name put up on the Jasdaq Securities Exchange and is now a publicly listed company. The Tokyo-based firm looks elsewhere for most of its output, specifically Fukushima Prefecture. In spite of the celebration, the past few months have been a testing time for people who work there. The employees and the company work together to make it happen. I really can't believe we've come this far. Kikuchi's main factories are located in Itate village. That's inside the zone the government ordered evacuated after the nuclear accident at Fukushima Daiichi. In our weekly segment, The Road Ahead, we'll see how the determination of workers saved this company from crisis. All the residents in Itate village had to leave home after the government issued a mandatory evacuation order. The government allowed Kikuchi to stay open. Their factories continued to churn out parts for cell phones and cameras. The space between these white lines has been decontaminated. Workers have to stay inside the area as they enter the factory. No trace of radioactive materials remains on the workers, thanks to this device. Kikuchi's factories remain at full output. The business generates a profit of more than $80 million a year. About 270 people work in the factory. Many live in temporary housing in Fukushima City. They spend an hour each way commuting by car to work. Itate native Isao Kikuchi built the Itate factory in 1984. He struggled with the work ethic of his employees in Tokyo, so he decided to build a plant in his hometown. I was very grateful for my workers' parents in Itate. They trusted my company and let their sons and daughters work for us. I have never forgotten my gratitude to them. The company faced challenges along the way. Then, the nuclear accident. The radiation forced the workers to leave their homes. I thought it was a serious matter. I didn't know if it was time to return to work. I was worried. I didn't know if our company would stay here. I was also concerned about working in the middle of high-level radiation. Masahiro Saito manages the factory. He has been with the company 22 years, ever since he graduated from high school. He's most proud of the skills he learned from older workers. He can now make camera parts precise to one hundredth of a millimeter. He makes everything by hand, using what he learned and what he knows by intuition. It's like my hands have eyes. They just move as if they have their own mind. Saito polished his skills as his company grew. Then he started a family. This company made me who I am. I grew up here in Itate and was hired by Kikuchi. I want to spend the rest of my life here with my family. Saito says he couldn't replace what working for the company gives him. He interviewed his co-workers one by one after the accident. Many worried about radiation. Some offered to clean up factories, remove radioactive materials, and seal up the factory airtight. Everyone agreed to stay. Kikuchi survived. It was all the efforts of the workers. They protected the company. They took the initiative because they liked their jobs and wanted to keep them. I'm proud of them and very grateful. I really am. Life isn't easy for the workers. Far from settling down, the company has become the core of their community. Everyone is a member of this community. I'm so glad that we're all here. Now, weeds cover fields and rice paddies in Itate village. The beautiful landscape is gone.
Itate is our sweet home. Kikuchi hopes his hometown will find its way back to where it was. Back to the place he's always loved. And there's these guys. We took them camping for fun. It's another bullshit experiment.